more stuff in here. Woo! <laughs> Good times, baby. A lot of you guys out there, you know, you have your home. You've probably been married for like 15 plus years. Uh, you're midway through life. And now you're at the point, you know, like, what else is there to do? You're going through this midlife crisis. And you're like, cycle cruiser, I hear you should get a motorcycle or a fast sports car or something to help with midlife crisis. Cycle cruiser, help me get through this. Have a good time. Feel young again. Feel motivated. Have a purpose in life. You know, get away from the wife. <laughs> cycle cruiser, help me out, man. Well, you know what? In this video, guys, I'm going to tell you whether you should get a motorcycle or a fast car or whatever to help cure that midlife crisis that you're going through. I feel you, brother. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Check out these new shorty gloves I got. If you want to get these new shorty gloves, my ultra lightweight helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest, help keep you safe, jackets, gear, all my stuff. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. You know, I've been probably going through a midlife crisis since I got out of high school. <laughs> I've been trying to find my way in this life for years, man. And you know what? I've just been rolling with it. I've just been rolling with it. I've had some good fortune. And I've had, uh, you know, some bad things that happened in my family and stuff like that. But that's life. You know, you're going to have your ups and downs. But you got to hang in there and stay strong, man. Don't let the midlife crisis get you. But yeah, when it comes to motorcycle guys, you know, I'm all for it. Like I said, you get on this bike, bust a wheelie, feels good, man. You know, and just even just cruising out here. Like I said, two wheels move the soul. It just feels real good. And, uh, you know, I feel you, you know, honestly, uh, some, you know, part of the reason why you're going through a midlife crisis is if you are married, <laughs> you, Maybe you've been married 15 plus years or so. Maybe it's, it's time to do something different. Switch things up. Get in a motorcycle because like I said, two wheels move the soul. But it'll help get you away from your wife for a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it gives you a new hobby. And, and spend more time away from the wife. Because, you know, the heart grows fonder when you're away. So that when you get back together... You'll be all happy again, man. You'll miss each other. So you need that time away. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys that... Whoa, this thing rips. <laughs> Woo! I love it, baby. I love it. But see, and that makes you feel good. You get up on your bike, what? And I'm telling you, when you get a motorcycle, you're going to want to just get on it and just go. You're not going to want to stop. I get out of here, guys. I hate to come home. You know what I'm saying? I come home. I, I, I start off as early as I can. I can get up and get out of the house. And then I'm coming in when it gets dark. <laughs> I wish I could just keep riding on into next week, man. And just keep riding and riding and riding. Um, because I tell you, you know, like they say, idols, idle hands are the devil's workshop. You got to keep your mind going. You got you to gotta keep doing something, you know. When you sit down and you start thinking about stuff, that's when negative thoughts start creeping into your head. You start feeling down. You're like, you start thinking your life isn't what it should be. Or, uh, you know, you start thinking these negative things start creeping through your head. But I tell you, when you get on your motorcycle, you don't feel it. You know, it's like you don't think about anything hardly, man. I get out here, it's like I'm not thinking about anything, man. I'm just cruising and just enjoying the ride and, and, and ripping the throttle sometimes and busting wheelies and it feels good you know it really does 
and uh oh and that torque feels good too baby <laughs> real good i tell you that but i would tell you this guys i followed this guy on a forum man he went through a, like a midlife crisis i guess you would say he was going through a tough time he got tired his job uh, i think this job he ended up getting fired or he quit his job out in california and he just felt like he didn't know where his life was going man he's like you know what i'm gonna do something real crazy he went to the ducati store and he bought a brand new ducati panigale 1199 brand new s <laughs> on a credit card which is stupid i highly don't recommend that guys don't pay cash for it but anyways he was just trying to do something crazy and wild he buys that bike and he travels all he goes all the way across the united states and back and he keeps up with people on the forum and then he stays at people's houses on the way he's partying he stayed at some guy's boat i mean he he actually logged his whole trip and he put it in a book he actually has a book i think i don't know if it's still available for sale um but it was like my uh, something about my time with a high price Ducati or I forgot what it was. It was some funny saying on the book. But I cannot believe he rode a Ducati Panigale 11 all the way across the country and back. I mean that is not that's probably like the worst bike to tour on. <laughs> but he had so much fun and all the experiences that he had and he shared in his book and on on the forums it was amazing it was really fun following his journey and also seeing his beautiful book he took the most beautiful pictures of him and his panigale man oh boy Woo, that joke baby yeah but and then when you know when he when he got back to california he felt renewed refreshed he had a new perspective it was like he just fulfilled a, a beautiful dream and then he was motivated to get cracking in life and it like cured him of his midlife crisis so i will tell you a motorcycle can help cure your midlife crisis guys don't get a fast sports car whatever you do that is boring and stupid you end up getting speeding tickets out here it, it, you'll be bored of that that's not going to cure your midlife crisis you need to get a motorcycle any motorcycle man i don't care what you get you love a supermoto but every i know everybody's not hit with supermotos but i tell you if you rode this bike you'd be hit with supermoto <laughs> you would oh look at that talk, baby it just rips by the way this is for women too not just men because i know women go through midlife crisis too man you get to a point in your life midway through your life you feel like man time flies life is short you know what have you accomplished you haven't you felt like you haven't accomplished enough um you feel like your friends aren't real or something i mean you everything like i said you start sitting down and thinking about stuff you start you start getting down like i said that's why i said idle hands are the devil's workshop you want to get out here and, and keep doing something keep acting man play golf work out get ride your motorcycle but i tell you ride the motorcycle will soothe your soul it's beautiful i tell you you may end up like me and have at one point i had four motorcycles all different types <laughs> and i loved it man i tell you, i want to get back to that but right, the reason why i got rid of them all is because i want to um i'm moving down south so i want to uh I, once i move to my new place then i'll I'm sure there's no cop behind me uh, I think that's a cop up there. <laughs> I don't want to bust a wheelie, man. You got to be careful. I don't know if these cops come out of nowhere, boy. got to be careful out here. Can't be busting a wheelie in front of no cop and get me in trouble out here. <laughs> cemetery, I see the cemetery like that. I'm like, you know, I, I love going to cemeteries. I don't know. Some of you guys know that. I've done videos in cemeteries in the past. And I like to go in there because i look at the stones i see how people live very short lives man and i'm just like you know what tomorrow's not promised to us you got to get out here and really enjoy life because you never know what what you know what's next and like i said there's always somebody else out there that has it worse than you so just take time to smell the roses appreciate your life count your blessings 
because I tell you, there's some people out there wish they just had a meal. They're trying to find a meal to eat right now. They don't have a roof over their head. You know what I'm saying? So, and if you have your health, guys, you have all your wealth is your health, I tell you. Because there's nothing you can do with bad health no matter how much money you have. No matter how much you have, guys. So, stay strong out there. Get a motorcycle. And uh, watch my videos. <laughs> and subscribe to my All Over Motorcycle channel. And also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Till next time, deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.